guys and welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Deacon and if you're a returning subscriber what's up welcome back to the channel if you're new definitely make sure that you're subscribed and that your notification bell is turned on and even if you're an old subscriber and your bell is not turned on please make sure that it's turned on so that you get notifications from me whenever I post a video because I feel like most of you don't know when I post videos and um, yeah it's not supposed to be so and please introduce my channel to your friends and family because I'm always trying to keep the numbers up and what we do here is great content so it's a win-win for all of us so yeah thank you so much for tuning in today and um, without further ado so in today's video I wanted to discuss dark inner ties with you guys and that is something that we struggle with especially we darker skin women struggle with a lot and that is totally normal because most parts of our body gets more pigmented than other parts of our body so first of all dark inner ties can be caused by a number of things and some of these are totally naturally occurring um, circumstances like health issues um, if you have hormonal imbalance PCOS and um, if you have like issues like diabetes and all of that some part of your body can get darker or kidney issues even some parts of your body can tend to get darker than other parts and sometimes let's not rule out the fact that it is sometimes also caused by um, some of the products that we've used in the past like products that actually reacted badly with our skin or that we did not know how to use so yeah this could totally be normal please do not beat yourself up about it because there is definitely ways that it can actually be treated so now that we've gotten accustomed to what could be the cause of dark inner ties let us get into ways that we can actually treat dark inner ties so first way I want to recommend in this video is definitely exfoliating your ties and that is because um, when you're dealing with hyperpigmentation or a large area of hyperpigmentation you want to make sure that exfoliation comes first so now why you are exfoliating is because you need the part of the skin to um, be tender enough for your products to work with or for your products to actually work on so I don't know why I'm touching my ties as I'm talking so um, now if your ties are dark you want to make sure that you exfoliate the dead skin cells out of that area so that the product that you would now be using would now work for your skin better and sometimes part of the cloud of the darkness on some areas of our body is as a result of dead skin cells sometimes if you start exfoliating regularly you would see a lot of results you see that those were just dead skin cells or that part was just covered by dead skin cells that needed to be eradicated so yeah exfoliation is definitely a good way to go now while exfoliating what should you use to exfoliate you should use something like um, a lightning exfoliating scrub I showed you guys how to do a lightning exfoliating scrub on this channel I'm going to link a video somewhere so that I think somewhere here so that you will see what I'm talking about or maybe here so that you see what I'm talking about but then it is a very easy scrub to make that you can just use in exfoliating your skin but then it contains like skin lightening ingredient because when you're dealing with hyperpigmentation I'm so sorry you might not like this but you would definitely have to use something that actually lightens yeah because the area is dark so what's gonna help a dark area um, lighten up it's lightening product so yeah you're gonna have to involve a lightning scrub and also maybe a lightning soap as well while you're washing the area it could be any skin lightening soap just putting it there for a little while before you actually take a shower like taking a lightning soap like maybe extract whitening soap and just rubbing it in your hand and rubbing it in that area like dampening your hands and with water and then rubbing it in that area then leaving it for like a few minutes before you actually get into the shower to now exfoliate with like an exfoliating scrub if you get what I mean so now we are building a sequence where we use like wash off lightning products like things that you actually rinse off in the shower for a couple minutes before you actually get out of the shower now if you're out of the shower the next thing that you want to do is um, apply something that still contains lightning properties example it could be a lightning oil I would put one in the description bar or two that you can check out or that could work for this or you could use like a lightning cream in that area and I'm also going to list maybe one or two in the description bar that is going to work or you can definitely use your regular lotion and just fortify it a lot more with like a lightening oil like something that I've shown you guys how to do on this channel which is the how to lighten your skin safely um, video so I'm going to link it somewhere on the screen so you guys can see that one as well it's just a simple um, demonstration where you actually add some things to your lotion to make it um, a lot more skin lightening or to actually make it a skin lightening lotion so yeah a lotion like this could work for 
the dark inner tie area so definitely make sure that after washing and exfoliating you apply something topically that would now stay in that area to further help with like lightening the area and then you could use like your regular uh, moisturizer on other parts of your body just so the lightening effect will just be happening on your tie area get what I mean so yeah after you've done all of this the next thing that you want to consider is your um, ties act actually clustering together for some reason if your ties are constantly clustering together it's going to give some friction like this in that area like for example you're working and your ties are doing this to do on some I mean so it creates heat in that area which then causes a lot of friction and then the tension there I think I'm saying a lot but the tension there now causes the skin around that area to go that so what you want to do if you're someone that wears dresses a lot this might not be comfortable or it might be please you have to be wearing undershirts undershirts that stop your inner ties from gumming together clustering okay so that's really going to help with that um, what that does is take away that friction that has been happening so that your ties don't actually rub against each other anymore so yeah if you wear dresses a lot then you really need to consider this but if you do wear trousers a lot even good and perfect if you're someone that wears pants or trousers like um, a lot you would notice that you probably don't really um, suffer from this issue and if you're someone that doesn't including something like pants and yeah pants like trousers when I mean pants I mean trousers in your wardrobe would actually help with a situation like this but yeah because it will stop your ties from rubbing against each other a lot often as it used to so yeah that's definitely something to keep in mind another thing I wanted to mention is if you do have to wear a shirt like a shirt that is very short and then you cannot wear something that stops your ties from clustering especially like if you live in like hot regions where you get to wear like bomb shorts or you're going out in the evening and you're just trying to keep it simple by just wearing a bomb shirt or something what you want to do is um, you want to put powder okay this is a process but yeah let's talk about it you want to put white powder and this could just be a regular white powder it could be baby powder now what that does on your labs and but you're going to be doing this at intervals what that does is that it reduces friction in that area like we've established in this video already friction that friction that happens within our ties causes dark inner ties so yeah you would want to definitely make sure that you use powder baby powder to just dab that area to just make sure that your ties clustering against each other will not cause a friction now another thing that you want to consider if you're going out in a bomb shirt and you're using this lightening products around your tie area is to make sure that you also protect that area with sunscreen so that it will not be counterproductive do you understand what i mean so that it will not be um you, you'll not be trying to lighten the area and then you go under the sun and the sun is damaging the area for you and taking you back so yeah you might have to consider using sunscreens in your ties okay if you do want a demonstrative video of me showing you guys how to actually do these things that I just spoke about But I think to some extent it's simple enough But if you do want like a demonstrative video to actually show you guys how I do this Then definitely drop a comment down below And if you have more questions on this topic for me Then drop a comment down below or drop your question down below Or if you have dealt with dark inner ties and then you have a solution for us then drop a comment down below as well. So yeah, another exfoliating tip I wanted to mention, I sort of forgot, is um, using lemon and um, sugar. Now you can just cut up a lemon into two, put sugar on it, on the top part, um, where the juice would come out from, and just rub it against your tie to help with exfoliating the area. And then leave it for like five to 10 minutes and then rinse it off. Lemon does have skin lightening properties, but it's not good to use it directly on parts of your skin like the face, but, but you can use it on areas that are harder to deal with, like the inner thigh and the elbows and the knees and knuckles and all of that. So yeah, that works as well. So definitely consider that. Another thing that you want to consider in your lightening process Products while um, lightening up your dark inner ties is adding vitamin E oil to that lightening product for example if it's a lightening oil you add vitamin E oil into it or if it's a lightening cream you add it or if you do decide to mix a cream and an oil together please make sure that vitamin E oil makes its way into that mix now a vitamin E oil is an antioxidant that actually help in detoxifying your skin and keeping you moisturized for a longer period of time so if you're using a product that would lighten your um, inner ties up helping it to last longer in that area so that it works for a longer period of time would definitely do you good so a vitamin e oil really really helps in moisturizing your skin so definitely put that in mind while you're using your lightning products over there 
so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe if you're not if you have a question for me i would love to answer in the comment section and other people would also love to learn from the questions that you might have and if you have a recommendation for something that you've done that has worked for you then definitely drop it in the comment section because i also like to read from you guys and read your remedies as well because it helps me try out more things and then share with like a wider audience if you don't mind so yeah Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that your notification bell is turned on. Um, if you like videos like this, please thumbs up this video to let YouTube know that you like my content and I'll be back with more videos for you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me this far. And as usual, I wish you a beautiful, perfect and luscious skin. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah.